Good morning children. I welcome you all to the next video of class 11th accountancy where we started with the fourth chapter that is process and basis of accounting and this is the second part that we are going to continue in this video. Earlier we have discussed about the process or the steps involved in the accounting. Okay, now we move ahead to the basis of accounting. Basically there are two bases of accounting. One is cash basis of accounting and the second is accrual basis of accounting. It is very important to understand it. One of the main objective of accounting is to ascertain the profit and loss of a business enterprise at the end of the accounting period. So basically we use two basis that is cash basis and accrual basis. First of all we are going to talk about cash basis of accounting. What is this? Under this basis incomes are not recorded until and unless they are received in cash. Similarly, expenses are recorded only when they are paid in cash. In other words, credit transactions are not recorded at all and are ignored till cash is actually received or paid for them. Thus, profit is merely the excess of actual cash and received in respect of sale of goods and other incomes over actual payments in respect of purchase of goods expenses on wages salary rent etc income or profit is calculated with the help of receipt and payment account this basis is useful for professional people like lawyers doctors chartered accountants etc now we are going to talk about the advantages that is this basis is simple realistic and satisfies the conservative instinct of many people it does not require the use of estimates and personal judgments and it is suitable for those enterprises where most of the transactions are on cash basis okay then there are some disadvantages too it does not give a true and fair view of profit and loss and financial position of the enterprise because it ignores outstanding expenses prepaid expenses, accrued income and income received in advance. It does not follow matching principle of accounting. For example, acquisition of goods will have to be treated as expenses of the period in which payment is made instead of the period in which benefits are derived from them. Okay, there is a great possibility of manipulation of profits in cash basis of accounting because payments may either be delayed or made early and similarly incomes may be postponed or collected early. So Companies Act 2013 does not recognize it. Okay. Now we are going to talk about the accrual basis of accounting. What is this? Under this basis incomes are recorded when they are earned or accrued irrespective of the fact whether cash is received or not that is sales may be on credit will be included in the total sales of the period similarly expenses are recorded when they are incurred or become due and not when the cash is paid for them example that is rent due to the landlord but not paid will be an expense for the period when it is due and not in the period when it is Paid. Hence, an accrual basis of profit and loss of a particular period is the result of matching of the revenues earned and the expenses incurred during that particular period. This makes it necessary to consider outstanding expenses, prepaid expenses, accrued income, income received in advance for the preparation of financial statements. So under Companies Act 2013, all companies are required to maintain their accounts according to the accrual basis of accounting only okay then what is the advantage it discloses true profit and loss of a particular period and also depicts true financial position of the business at the end of the particular period it follows the matching principle there is a consistency in the computation of profits of different years in accrual basis then it is recognized by companies act 2013 but it has some disadvantages too that it is not as simple as cash basis. Then it requires the use of estimates and personal judgment also. Now we are going to talk about the distinction between cash basis of accounting and accrual basis of accounting. Okay, very important. First of all, recording of cash and credit transaction 
in cash basis of accounting the basis records only cash transaction whereas in accrual basis makes a complete record of all cash as well as credit transactions then timing of recording of income so in cash basis only those incomes are recorded which have been received in cash in accrual basis all incomes are recorded whether cash is received for them or not timing for recording of expenses as per this basis only those expenses are recorded which have been paid in cash whereas in accrual basis all the expenses are recorded whether cash is paid for them or not then outstanding expenses prepaid expenses accrued income and income received in advance cash basis of accounting the basis does not take into consideration outstanding expenses prepaid expenses accrued income and income received in advance whereas in accrual it is this basis takes into consideration all these items then we are going to talk about the legal position that is in cash basis of accounting it is not recognized under the companies act 2013 whereas in accrual basis of accounting this basis is recognized under the companies act 2013 then ascertainment of correct profit or loss in cash basis of accounting does not ascertain correct profit or loss because it does not make a complete record of all the cash and credit transactions whereas in accrual basis of accounting ascertain correct profit and loss because it makes a complete record of all cash and credit transactions then we move ahead to suitability so in suitability in cash basis of accounting this basis is suitable for professional people like doctors lawyers whereas in accrual basis of accounting this basis is adopted by business enterprise with profit motive so it is very important for you to understand cash basis of accounting then accrual basis of accounting and what is the distinction between them and when we are following any companies or making any companies then companies act only recognize accrual basis of accounting it does not recognize cash basis of accounting so most of the trans most of the entries or most of the transactions or most of the accounts are being prepared keeping in mind the accrual basis of accounting is it clear now so now there is one more type of basis of accounting that is hybrid or mixed basis of accounting is also there that is this basis of accounting is the mixture of cash basis and accrual basis under hybrid basis of accounting revenues and assets are recorded on cash basis whereas expenses and liabilities are recorded on accrual basis usually professional people such as doctors and lawyers adopt this method and prepare receipt and expenditure account to ascertain their net income during the period they ignore their outstanding income but take into consideration the outstanding expenses then the idea is to claim deduction for outstanding expenses while computing taxable income that is why the people like doctors and lawyers adopt hybrid form of basis of accounting hybrid system of accounting is an acceptable and approved system as per judgments of the courts okay but whenever we are talking about the companies then most of the time they follow accrual basis of accounting so you are going to prepare the notes regarding the basis of accounting that that is cash basis accrual basis their advantages and disadvantages along with them and then distinction between cash basis of accounting and accrual basis of accounting so in the next video we are going to move ahead up till then you take care and goodbye children